we had a, a sustainable development goal target and now that has been revised to the world health organization in tb strategy so what they what they want to do is they want to have 80% reduction in tb incidence rate by 2030 and 90% reduction in the uh, annual number of tb deaths by 2030 so that's the goal they have kept all right and um, have they reached the goal uh, they reached the goal no 50% of uh, incidents have been reduced and the number of TB deaths, and that's really good. They have reached uh, nearly 75% of the milestones. And uh, so that's the, those two goals are really good, uh, but incidence is uh, not really good because only 50% has been reduced, okay? Now, uh, let's, before we go through uh, the, the treatment strategies and why India is uh, with the uh, why India is struggling with TB elimination. I just want to spend maybe 20, 10, 15 seconds on this slide. Um, this is a slide which shows the death rates in England and Wales uh, between 1838 and 1970, and uh, you can see the death rates have been drastically reduced. And you can see uh, in epidemiology, the, the steeper the curve, the um, higher the decrease. So you can see the curve is declining rapidly from 1850 to 1940, 50, 60. And if you look at this, only towards the end of this slide, or 1940, 50, uh, drugs were discovered, vaccines were discovered. But even before that, there's been a rapid decline in the number of TB deaths, okay? So this will be a part of the questionnaire. We will talk a little bit more about this, why this has happened in the uh, United Kingdom and what factors have, uh, have contributed to this. Now let's uh, look at some of the treatment strategies. I want to highlight these uh, treatment strategies for a particular reason, and you'll know at the end of uh, the next two minutes. So before drugs were introduced, medical treatment was introduced, you literally have to resect a portion of your lung and that's called thoracoplasty. And um, then uh, came sanatorium method of treatment. So where actually people were put in TB sanatoria and then they were uh, asked to stay for six months, nine months, one year, they'll be given medications, they will be uh, taken to morning near the windows where fresh air comes. So if you go to Chennai, there is a big TB sanatoria. Uh, if you go to Madanapalli in Andhra, there's a big TB sanatoria. And if you go to many places, many uh, cities, you'll have TB sanatoria. Now, one of the important things I want to tell you is that the transition in TB tra treatment has happened uh, because of the many clinical trials which were done in India especially through the TB Research Center in India. It's located in Chennai. Now it was usually, it was called as TB Research Center. Now it is called as National Institute of Research in Tuberculosis. And they did some pioneering studies uh, uh, which has changed the landscape of TB treatment. So they did a huge trial where they transit, they showed that you can treat people in at home instead of uh, sanatoria. They also, that treat the, that uh, there also there was a big trial which was done in the TB Research Center in India, which cut down the treatment uh, duration from eighteen months to six months. Okay, and therefore some of the leading studies uh, have been done in India. So what the point I'm trying to tell is that India has been a forefront in TB research uh, and uh, and uh, never been recognized for its contribution for its, uh, uh, for its um, you know, contribution to, to TB uh, control and TB, uh, generation of knowledge in TB research. So the important point here is we have a program called DOTS and uh, we give treatment for six months. And the reason why we give TB treatment for six months is that it provides a cure rate of 95%. It prevents new infections. It prevents the development of uh, drug resistance and it's cost effective. And that's the reason why we give uh, TB treatment through DOTS. 
there's been many studies which show that dots is not uh, very effective, but we do follow dots because um, we are very particular that people should take, uh, patients should take TB treatment for six months so that they don't develop uh, resistance. But new guidelines also allow for a shorter duration for four months, but uh, that's not being widely adopted. It's a case by case basis. But just for your sake, remember six months treatment is the standard one. Okay. And because of the inconvenience caused by directly observed therapy, you have to go to a particular person and then make to make sure you take the drugs in front of them. Now, uh, WHO has uh, allowed, uh, you can even take, take a snapshot or a video recorded uh, version and then you can go and take uh, drugs and then record that timestamp it. So they're making it more convenient for people to uh, to take drugs, okay? All right, so um, that's pretty much about what I want to tell uh, about the treatment. Now, now coming back to India, you know, it's, that's this is the most important uh, area why we are uh, talking today is that in India, about 3 million cases are estimated. We know that uh, statistically, epidemiological studies show that there should be 3 million cases, but only 2 million cases are being reported every year, all right? And that's a big problem, all right? And we'll talk about why that's a big problem. In India now we have, uh, if you have studied uh, uh, TB a while ago, it used to be called as revised national TB control program. Now it has been uh, uh, changed to international TB elimination program. And the government has set up an ambitious uh, target of eliminating TB by uh, 2025, which is about two years uh, from now. And uh, the TB program has now reached throughout India. We've got dot centers everywhere. And um, we've done fantastic job in uh, reducing TB, but there are a lot of challenges. And that's the, the and some of the challenges we're going to discuss, uh, we're going to discuss today, okay? And one of the things which we have to understand is that um, uh, uh, we have now a very strong framework through this national strategic plan for TB elimination. And it's like a 40, 50 page document. If you guys are interested in understanding more about what's the government's vision uh, in eliminating TB, I urge everyone to go and read this in detail. It's a fantastic document and you'll be, uh, you'll be astonished to see the level of detail the government has put in in preparing this document. And I uh, appreciate the involvement uh, the government has put in putting in, in eradicating or eliminating TB from uh, the country, okay? So basically they have a four-pronged approach in, uh, in uh, TB. So it's called detect, treat, prevent, and uh, build. And detect is um, you have to find all drug sensitive and all drug resistant uh, cases. And you have to initiate and sustain all patients on appropriate anti-TB treatment, and um, you have to prevent the emergence of TB in susceptible populations, and you have to build and strengthen uh, enabling policies, empower institutions, and build uh, the requisite human resources, okay? Uh, so uh, I don't wanna go into detail in each and everything and then explain to you, because I wanna discuss more about the challenges for TB control in India, okay? So the three things I want to uh, discuss, uh, the triple epidemic, the private health sector, and the miscellaneous issues, okay? So first thing is the triple epidemic. So when I was starting in TB research and treatment as a clinician, HIV was a major problem, and we used to call it as double trouble. But now we have a triple trouble. So we all know that TB and HIV are uh, you know, they are comorbid factors, they accelerate each other. But we also have another problem now, which is diabetes, okay? And diabetes is increasing day by day in India. And statistics show that people with, um, among people with um, and diabetes, um, there is about 15% uh, of them have, uh, uh, I'm sorry, among people with tuberculosis, 15% of them have diabetes. 
and about uh, five percent of people with TB also have diabetes. So it's like vice versa. Diabetes increases the chance of your immunosuppression, and then causes uh, acceleration, increases the acceleration of TB infection to uh, active. Uh, TB disease. So it's very important to know that diabetes is now propelling the number of TB cases in the country. And so how do we counteract this? Uh, just like we have National AIDS Control Program, National TB Program, we also have this uh, non-communicable disease program. And though all of these programs have to start uh, cross-referring each other, and government has now introduced uh, cross-referral. And if you read the national uh, elimination program strategy, you will see that there's a big focus on um, for cross-referral for these uh, patients. The second important point is um, private health sector. And you know that in India, more than 70% of healthcare is provided by private sector. In fact, the statistics, the actual ground reality is that more than 85% of healthcare is provided by uh, healthcare, private healthcare. The key thing here is it's unregulated, it's unorganized, uh, not just hospitals, medium-sized, large hospitals. There are lots of uh, RMPs, single bed clinics, uh, you know, five bed clinics, 10 bed clinics. Along with that, there are many pharmacies or prescribing over-the-counter medications. There are many laboratories and there are many non-allopathy practitioners multiple, multiple numbers, many millions uh, prescribing, uh, you know, TB drugs. So this actually is a major, major problem. If there are few things which you want to take from this lecture, this is one of the major key points you have to take it out. Uh, private health sector, uh, non-engagement of private health sector in TB control program is a major deterrent in achieving TB elimination in India, okay? So we know from statistics that nearly half of TB patients, this is half of TB patients, don't go through the national TB program, even though it's free, even though it's cheap, cost-effective, they don't go through that. They take treatment for from private sector for various reasons, for convenience, for ease of, uh, you know, uh, they use their uh, mistrust in government practice. So it could be multiple reasons, but um, so nearly half of them don't take TB treatment from, uh, from the government sector. So what happens is that half of them don't get notified. So I was telling you earlier that there are of 3 million TB cases, only 2 million get notified. But if you look at this statistic alone, nearly half of them won't get notified, okay? So there is a big gap in TB notification in India. And this is intertwined with the fact that uh, we don't have a robust reporting system from uh, the private sector. Now, what is the government uh, doing? The government is doing lots of things. First of all, they have made TB notification mandatory. Okay, that was done in uh, four, four years ago. And uh, they brought in a new app called Nikshai. It's got a mobile app and a web-based uh, surveillance app. And uh, now uh, government has now given lots of perks. If you are a private practitioner, if you notify a TB case, you get 250 rupees. If they complete treatment uh, every month, you get 250 rupees. And um, you know, and in total, they get somewhere around 2,750 rupees. And for another, uh, uh, 24 months, if you're a drug-resistant uh, patient, if you're treating them, you get 6,750 rupees. So they are giving lots and lots of incentives to encourage private sector participation. And then this is an unprecedented uh, move by the government to engage. And without, the government, without private sector participation, we will not be able to achieve TB elimination in India. And that's become, that will uh, be the major uh, game changer and uh, we all as private practitioners, I know a lot of people are private practitioners in the meeting. I think it's very important for you to uh, you know, participate in this TB control program. So finally, just, there are some of other uh, miscellaneous uh, factors. For example, uh, the current directly absorbed therapy rate is only 50 to 70%. So it's very rigid, very um, tight, but I think it's, it's the key thing 
uh, for the TB control program. There's a big stigma in the society. People still don't want to reveal they have TB. And you, you can see that uh, Amitabh Bachchan comes in on every, uh, every year for TB day. And he himself declares that he's at TB. We have many multiple actors, actresses, uh, prominent people uh, coming and advertising against the stigma. And another important point is there's a big push to make a lot of TB, uh, new TB drugs uh, as generic. And even today, I read a newspaper that uh, bedaclonin uh, was uh, awarded, uh, is going to become a generic drug in India. Supreme Court, Court has turned down Johnson & Johnson's request to renew their patent. So it's so a good news. A lot of people with drug resistance TB will be able to access. And a lot of advocacy has, been, has gone through in uh, ensuring uh, you know, TB patients receive these drugs, okay? And finally, uh, you know, lack of standardized guidelines has become a major problem uh, for uh, the TB control program. And I think government is working on making the guidelines standardized throughout uh, the country. So all of them access um, TB uh, care.